Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 870. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 869 to 872, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, some of you may or may not know, I teach statistics and math and finance all in a computer lab using only Excel. And a lot of students come in and they don't know anything about Excel. And then they get all excited. So I had a student come and said, oh, I bet you can help me this at work. I'm, I have to put a date in this cell. I have to pick some cell like 214, and then look it up in the first column and return that date over here. So immediately I said, hey, great function called the VLOOKUP function. Now VLOOKUP function, you have to tell it what to look up. Well, the date here, comma, VLOOKUP, you have to tell it the table of values, where the first column contains the lookup value, and then some subsequent column has the value you want to return to the cell. So I'm going to highlight this, Control Shift Down Arrow. Now um, I'm going to go only to there. Uh, and then, so it, VLOOKUP knows the lookup value, the table. It's always going to look in the first one. Notice the values are sorted, right, in ascending order, comma. Now all you have to do is say which one of the columns, one or two, has the thing you want to return back to the cell. So I'm going to put two close parentheses and enter. Look at that, just like magic. If I change this to the 15th, now it's looking here and returning that date. But so that is the way to do it. But sometimes you have a formula like VLOOKUP, and yeah, it takes a couple clicks there. But if you recognize a pattern, perhaps you could simplify this. So I just off to the side, I said, well, let me see what the difference between this and this is. And then double click and send it down. You, know, you scroll all the way down. They're all 350, except for these last ones, which we didn't include. So really, we can simplify our formula by simply taking this date here, which is a true date, a serial number, which means every new day is like adding one. We can simply take our date and subtract 350. Right, so they're both giving us 3, 2. If I change this input here to the 16th, boom. If I change it to the 25th, I get uh, 4, 10. All right, uh, see you next trick.